sensing the opportunity for quick and total victory, the Venomoid warlord Darkon gathers his army of ruthless spider crabs and sends them plunging toward the helpless planet below. Incoming! Incoming! They're everywhere! Those pop guns don't have a chance of stopping those things. The South and North Pacific Fleet both report they're under attack and have heavy damages. The Far Eastern Command's been knocked out. The enemy's made landings and secured positions in almost every sector. Looks like this is the big one. Nothing we can do is stopping them. All our reserves are being pushed to the limit. The bottom of the ninth inning and we're sitting on the bench. It's no mystery why they picked this moment to strike when the cat's away, the mice will play. I never thought I'd say this, but we could sure use Blade's help right about now. I've managed to fuse the pieces of the emerald crystal back into a close approximation of its original structure. Now this schematic ought to show us what position Blade and the crystal should take in relation to each other in order to accomplish the transformation process. There you go. The computer's designed the Technobot interlock chamber. Now the only thing left for you to do is go and build it. Finally, it's about time I got to have some fun around here. You're forgetting something. Oh, what's that? How can you build it without the plans? Oh yeah, you got a point there. Take it away! You've got to eat something. I'm not hungry. There's more to it than that. What's wrong, Blade? Just leave me alone. Forget about him. He's a loser. Let him starve if he wants. Who cares? I've always said the kid never had the stomach for a real fight. What are you talking about, Ringo? <sighs> you don't get it, do you? If I can't transform into Techno Man, I'm useless. Listen to him. He gets beaten one time and he's ready to pack it in. Get this through your head. They've taken away the only weapon I can use to fight them. Just imagine how you'd feel if it was the Blue Earth that had been destroyed. Hold on, mister. I won't let you just walk away. Oh, yeah? And just how are you going to stop me? <clears throat> hey, what stop are you... It. You're coming with me. Oh. Take a look around, Blade. They've been working round the clock with no sleep. You know why? Give you one guess. Why not just tell me and save us both some time? Hmm? Hey, that's my crystal. By redirecting the crystal's polarity, we should get a reaction that ought... Not again. Rats. They're trying to find a way to help you turn into Techno Man again. They're not giving up, even if you have. They know the battle's not over yet. You, Blade, stay right there. I'm on my way. I'm touched, but they're probably wasting their time. Oh, hi, Blade. Glad you're here. Oh, you too, Star. How's it going, Maggie? Fine, fine. Of course, we've got a few snags here and there. You're dealing with complex Venomoid science. No offense, guys, but it's not something you learn overnight. Thank you, Mr. Wizard. We're not in the Stone Age, you know. This is what we do for a living. How close do you think you are to a breakthrough? Well, we haven't found the equation that will artificially induce the Technopod transformation process. But we're getting there, Blade. I know we are. I wish I could be so sure, Maggie. You haven't much time. You should be concentrating on something that might work. You know, your attitude's starting to get on my nerves. Don't be so quick to count Maggie out. A few pieces of the crystal were lost, so I made synthetic fragments to take their place. Now, here's where we find out if they'll hold. So far, so good. The synthetics are holding. Now, here's the part where we've had some problems. The computer says this formula should redirect the crystal's polarity and start the transformation process. Every time, the same thing. Nothing works. Don't blame yourself. Even when these numbers add up, they don't add up. It's not your fault these stupid aliens figure that two plus two equals five. We mustn't get discouraged. I won't give up now. It will work, Blade, I promise you. And you'll don your armor like some handsome knight of old defending the honor of his lady love. Jeez, Maggie, have a little self-respect. Mac, Maggie, keep working. The rest of you report to COM-1. Stand. <laughs> From the space ring orbiting high above the Earth, the invader resumes his attack, but now with new and deadly accuracy. I've got reports of precision air-to-surface strikes all across the map. I'm trying to determine if there's a pattern. Sir, someone's jamming my signal. 
Forgive this interruption of your communication. Huh? But I have an ultimate. It's coming from the, the space ring. Earth. Dagger. As you must know by now, you are helpless. But our warlord, Darkon, is merciful. And he offers you one last chance of survival. Hand over to us the techno man known as Blade, and we will suspend the attack. He is a traitor and a renegade. Have him brought to the space ring by 1200 hours Earth time, or we'll renew our attack on your primary population centers. The Techno Man is of no use to you now. Give him up, and your cities will be spared. Maybe it's just a bluff, huh? You don't have to bluff when you're the one holding all the cards. This guy's for real. Consider your response wisely. One Techno Man in exchange for the survival of your species. You have until 1200 hours to decide. While the Space Knights consider his ultimatum, Dagger waits, like a spider in his web, waiting for a fly. He will come, there's no doubt of that. All the powers of heaven and earth won't stop him from coming. And when he does, I will be waiting. How am I supposed to get any work done? It's like living in a constant fire drill around here. What's up? What is it now? Blade won't listen to reason. He insisted on flying to the space ring on his own. He what? How's he plan on getting there? The Blue Earth's nowhere near ready to launch. He doesn't need the Blue Earth. Hold on, what are you talking about? There's another kind of ship here in the command center? That's news to me. He's found an old decommissioned booster rocket that's been in mothballs for years. It's nothing more than a flying death trap. Blade, this is Commander Jameson. Kill your engines and abort your launch sequence at once. You heard him, Blade. You stupid kid. You're trying to be a hero. Remember, you're not a techno man anymore. I know that better than anyone, Ringo. That's why I'm going. Okay, so what's the point? You go up there and get your plug pulled, what then? One broken down ex-techno man in exchange for millions of lies? It's a pretty good deal. Get serious. You don't believe these creeps are really gonna stop the attack. Well, we know they won't stop if I don't go. Systems go. The entry door is open. Okay, let's see what this jalopy can do. It's all my fault Blade did this. If I'd only been smart enough to finish the Technobot, I... Maggie, pull yourself together and get back to work. We're not out of this game yet. He's right, the game ain't over until it's over. Yeah, good point. Uh-oh, a welcoming committee. What's going on here? They're not attacking. They're letting me pass. Now why don't I feel better about this? Oh no! There's no logical explanation for this happening. It's not human error. It's almost like a glitch in the computer itself. Maggie, I found those data disks you wanted. Tina, watch out for those cables. Ah. Oh no, the computer. Wait, the circuit board's rebooting. Meanwhile, far above, Blade approaches his rendezvous with destiny. Looks like nobody's home. Oops, no such luck. Greetings, Blade. I knew I could depend on you. Your audacity has always exceeded your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, sticks and stones. Oh, I have more than that. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. What, no clever quip, Blade? Did you lose your sense of humor when you lost your techno powers? You want funny? How about this? A 10 gigawatt thermal fusion bomb. One tap on this trigger and we both end up space dust. The Blue Earth thunders into action. In its hold, it carries a payload on which the fate of the Earth may very well depend. Be careful. Mac and I have put our hearts and souls into that Technobot, so none of your reckless flying, Ringo, you cowboy. On the other hand, the clock's ticking, so no dawdling laugh. Go slow, go fast, make up your minds. Where's your bomb now? You won't detonate it, not as long as your simple mind tells you that you still have a chance of escaping with your life. 
Uh, your instinct for survival is impressive, though rather annoying. But then we wouldn't want this to be too easy, would we? You may run, my friend, but you cannot hide. <laughs> Yeah, I see him. They sent these clowns to make sure we don't crash their party. Well, I've never met a bouncer I couldn't let. Hooah! Out of the way, boys! We're coming through! Blade? Ah, he's still with us, I see. Excellent. I so look forward to finishing this face to face. A pity this has to be the last time we meet. But without your techno powers, you frankly aren't much competition. Oh yes, you're a little bomb I'd almost forgotten. Well then, the only question left is... Do you have the courage to detonate it? Anything to shut you up, Dagger. Very well, I'm willing to pay that price. If it means eliminating you. Come on, Blade. We've got a Technobot up here that's got your name on it. What? You heard me. You ready to take it for a test spin? You bet. Come back here, you coward. Hang on. You can't escape. All right. The thing's voice activated, so you got to make the commands loud and clear. Got it? Well, it sure looks impressive, but do you really think this thing's gonna work? Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Good luck out there, Blade. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Ringo. And the same to you, buddy. What? Take the bar! Power on! <laughs> What do you know? It worked! All right, Dagger! Let's play ball! No, it can't be! You're a Technoman again! But how? Your crystal was shattered! Amazing what they can do with shattered crystals nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> play with you crap but I've got bigger fish to fry. Very well then. Techno man against Techno man. A battle to the finish. Got that right. What are you doing? You know what time it is, Dagger? What? It's time to say goodbye. He blew up good. Nice work, Blade. Thanks, Ringo. But I've got a feeling the battle has just begun. Get this straight. I don't trust you. Now that I know what you're capable of becoming, I trust you even less. I'll always be watching you, with my finger on that trigger, ready to do what I gotta do. But I will give you this. Before that situation comes up again, I will get my watch fixed. If I do have to pull your plug someday, I wouldn't want anybody saying I didn't give you a fair chance. Appreciate your honesty. Now I know where I stand. Alone. At that very moment, on the far side of the moon, 
deep below its cratered surface, Darkon, the Venomoid Warlord, sits and broods in his lair. Dagger has failed me, but he should be replaced by a more powerful Technoman who should crush the traitor's blade like an insect. <laughs> time this week. They just keep hitting us. When they run out of energy, they recharge and hit us again. I shudder to think what'll happen if this keeps up. Yes, sir. But General, there's one thing to be grateful for. The aliens rarely come down to the planet's surface because they know they'll have to deal with Technoman. Technoman? Because of him, the aliens have switched over to laser attack. If anything, he's made it more difficult to do battle with them. Now we're just a bunch of sitting ducks. We have no way to stop them. Sir, we could ask the Space Knights to destroy the lasers. Hmm, sir? If I only knew the secret of Technoman's power, things would be different. Yes, sir. I think I just might know a way. Just about that. Hey there, Blade. Is everything operational with your field control system? Yeah, and I sure hope it stays that way. What do you mean it'll hold up? I built it, didn't I? You know something, Blade. We're a team. It'd be nice if once in a while you had a little faith in your teammates. Hmm. Hey there, Maggie. What are you working on? Well, team. I'm attempting to reprogram the Technobot's movement response gyros, and I think I've got it licked. Last time Blade was in combat, he said the Technobot's response time was slow, and the visual acuity circuit needs work. Oh. Good afternoon, ladies. Who are you, and how'd you get in here? Actually, I happen to be here on assignment. I'm sorry if I startled you two lovely ladies. Oh, don't worry, it was nothing. <laughs> we just weren't expecting anyone. Uh, Star, I want you and Maggie to design an alternate program. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, and a reporter's been assigned to us. Reporter? What reporter? That's me. Who are you? The name's Balzac. I'm a war correspondent, and I'm here to do a story on you space nights. Commander, I don't think it's a good idea to take a reporter to the war zone. This is another mandate from the military. They say it's to give hope to the people of the planet by telling them all about Blade and his fight against the Venomoids, and this comes directly from General Gaul. Figures. Yep, and you'd be wise to remember that. If I'm not mistaken, you're the one they call Technoman, right? Yeah, what's it to you? Rumor has it you can't remember anything about your past. Now, why don't you tell me the real story? You know something? That sounds like a question out of a scandal sheet, not a question from some war correspondent. Ouch. I'm gonna have to watch my step around you. Indeed you will, for you are here strictly as an observer. Understand this, I will only allow you to stay here under one condition. You are not to interfere with any of the Space Knights, especially during their maneuvers. Do we understand each other? Of course, Commander. Just want to do my job. Zach, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm not doing anything. I'm just taking pictures of your Technobot. Just don't touch anything. Blade, let me ask you something. Can anyone who enters the Technobot transform into Technoman? Come on, man, you can tell me. Only I can use the Technobot. Well, what's the mystery? Why are you the only one who can transform? The Venomoids have their own Technoman. Now, I'm not implying that you're working for them, but I do think it's strange that you're the only human with that ability. In fact, if someone didn't know any better, they'd probably think that you were some kind of traitor. Okay, that's it! How dare you say that to me? You don't know anything. I'm doing everything I can to save this planet, and that's all you need to know. Calm down. I didn't say I think you're a traitor, but a journalist covers all the angles. It's my job to find out if you're hiding something. For example, you claim to have had a total loss of memory. Hmm? Seems awfully convenient. Are you sure you're not concealing something? Space Knight, get moving. We're on our way.
In fact, I just finished reading your dossier. I know that you're working for General Galt, and I also know why he sent you here. To find this, a record of everything we've learned about the Technopower system. <laughs> I admit it, you got me red-handed, Commander, and all this time I thought I had you fooled, and you'd bought my act hook, line, and sinker like the rest of the Space Knights. But I should have known that a smart cookie like you wouldn't fall for it. You're the man with the gun, Commander. What do we do now? Congratulations. You just completed your mission. Commander, are you serious? Oh, I get it. You want something in return, is that it? What do you want, Commander? Money? Power? Everybody's got their price. What's yours? No, that's not your style, is it? But then why are you doing it? I know you think Galt has been given too much power, so why would you furnish him information that will give him even more? There's a lot more at stake here than power and prestige. In case you've forgotten, the Earth is at war. But then I suppose it never would occur to you huh? that I'm doing this for the good of our planet and its people. Yeah. What are you up to, Jameson? 